Welcome to the Open World Forum TV show. We have the opportunity to talk now about the core of the system, the, the operating system, and we will talk about Debian project. Uh, we will talk about Debian with uh, Stefano Zakiroli. Uh, hi, Stefano. Uh, hi, nice uh, to meet you. You are working in France, but you prefer that we speak in English uh, because you're Italian. It's a, it's a, it's a world. <laughs> yeah, actually, to make the ac interview more accessible to the <laughs> worldwide Debian no community. No problem, of course. Uh, you you're a leader of the Debian project. Uh, I think that perhaps, if, um, if we have only five minutes, it's important to begin to explain what is Debian. Okay, so Debian is essentially two things. The first thing is a worldwide project made of essentially volunteer people. And the second thing which Debian is, is actually the result of this project, which is a free operating system called Debian, and which is essentially a free software distribution used worldwide. If I'm not a specialist, uh, what kind of difference uh, can we see between Linux and Debian? Is it, do we talk about the same thing? So, uh, no, not really. So, Linux is just a kernel of an operating system. And what you have in addition to the kernel is a whole stack of applications, which start from the, start from the GNU project, which enable you to build application, and up to the end user application. And Debian is a distribution which ships together the Linux kernel and the whole range of applications up to the user. Actually, Linux is not the only kernel supported by Debian. Starting with the next release called Debian Squeeze, we also have a tentative distribution of the another kernel, which is the BSD kernel. So Debian is a kind of way to distribute all these things together for the final user. When I have to choose between Debian and another distribution, what are the main differentiators? Uh, so the main differences are at the technical level from the point of view of package quality. We have a very thorough process that ensures the quality of the, pack of the software package we distribute. And additionally, it is our values. So we have a social contract with our users, which ensures a couple of things. The first one is that Debian will remain completely free software, according to the Debian free software guidelines. And that we, all we develop is developing the open without hiding anything to the user. So the net advantage for the user is that they have the guarantee that the choice we made are not driven by profit or this kind of interest, but only by our values. What is your job on the project? Uh, so it's not really a job as I am a volunteer, yeah. like anyone else. And I must but I'm sure that you spend a lot of time on it. Uh. That, that's true. So the job of the Debian, uh, the Debian project leader is to coordinate the life of the project and um, essentially to do communication about the project, both within the project and with the outside, like we are doing here now. How many volunteers are working to develop Debian? So we are about 1,000 developers the volunteer worldwide. Most of them are in the US and in Europe, and we are growing in Australia, in Asia, in Japan, and in South America. What kind of work is it to coordinate all these developers? Perhaps they are trying to develop the same thing, but from different ways? Or? So that's true. So luckily, it's a pretty much self-organized project in the sense that we have clear area of, respons of responsibilities, and people working on each of them is free to make their own decision. And we like to call this a duocracy. So who do the job gets to decide how to do that. Sometimes you have to take care of decisions who have no specific responsible, responsibles. So that's where I can jump in. And also I'm responsible for managing the assets of the project, like managing all the donations we get from uh, Debian support around the world and how to use them to make sure the, the life of the project goes on smoothly. How do you organize a decision? Uh, is there some, some times a necessity to, d to say we will do that even if some people are not agree? So that's another peculiarity of Debian, actually. So the default is duocracy, as I said. So a responsible can take whatever decision on the work they do. But sometimes you need to take decision which spans over the work of many different areas of responsibilities. And we have a fully democratic process to do that. So we have a way to propose what we call general solutions. And we have a way to vote um, upon them through the community. So the democracy in Debian can take whatever decision, any decision about the life of the project. Let's talk now about the version. Uh, what is the number of the version and what uh, are you working on as new developments? So we are about to release the next version of Debian. So, but more important than the version number is actually the, the code name. So the next release of Debian is what we will be called Debian Squeeze. And we are currently in freeze, meaning that we have kind of uh, finalized the specific software version, the major version that we'll be in. And we are now cleaning up all the major bugs before being able to 
release Debian Squeals. Okay. How many versions do you have in one year, for example? So we don't have a time-based release uh, schedule, okay. meaning that we have no specific guarantee of a number of releases. We like to say that we release when it's ready. So as, as soon as all the release critical bugs, which means bugs that make it difficult for the user to use a specific type of software, as soon as all these bugs are um, fixed, we release. Not before that. So usually that means a release cycle of 18 months, but there is no strict guarantee for that. Quality for us is more important than a release schedule. And do you already have an idea about uh, new functionalities we will have in the next code version? So the, the, function, the new functionality we will have are not actually up to us, but up to the software we distribute. So what's more important for us is the, what will change at the level of the whole Debian release in this release cycle. And the, one of the big things that will happen is that we got rid of all the non-free firmware bits from our distribution, meaning that users of Debian will get only free software down to the firmware level. And the introduction of the new ports, like the FreeBSD, the, the, the K3BSD port, we are going to release with Squeeze. Stefano, I think you're perfect. We know everything about Debian in five minutes. Uh, uh, if we want to know more and download the version, just w website? So you can just go to www.debian.org, and there we'll find all the information about Debian. Thank you very much. Thank you all for joining us for the Open World Forum uh, TV show, and we will come back with another show. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.